Hello, thank you for joining us. Trump is mining the Garden State for cash as well as votes, holding two big fundraisers at the Lawrenceville National Guard Armory, one to help the state Republican Party pay off more than half a million dollars in legal fees racked up investigating the George Washington Bridge scandal, another to dispatch the debt Governor Christie racked up running for president. Chief political correspondent Michael Aaron is standing by in Lawrenceville. Michael, this is Trump's first public event in New Jersey. What's on his agenda for the evening? Well, Mary Alice, Donald Trump and Chris Christie are scheduled to arrive here at 630. They'll attend a roundtable in a nearby building on this campus. About 18 to 20 people will have paid $25,000 to attend that, the proceeds to go to the Republican State Committee for its legal debt related to Bridgegate. Then they'll come over here for a rally. The crowd here keeps growing. Uh, people here have paid $200 to get in. That money will go to retire Chris Christie's campaign debt of $250,000. The excitement here is palpable. Earlier, I spoke with Christie political confidant Bill Palatucci about the Trump campaign. Bill, how do you explain the Trump phenomenon? I don't know how to explain it. You know, uh, uh, we, we spent like eight or nine months trying to defeat the, the Trump uh, phenomenon and, and couldn't. And so uh, it's just a different year. Uh, that's why, uh, you know, you see Bernie Sanders, uh, socialist from Vermont, uh, you know, giving Hillary Clinton the run of her life, uh, and Donald Trump, uh, you know, lapping the field. And so, uh, you know, the governor and, and Donald know each other for a good long time. And so we couldn't beat him. But the governor decided to join him. You've been around presidential politics for a long time. To what extent is there sort of an extra level of excitement around Trump? Oh, there's, you know, always excitement, as you say, with, with presidential politics and, and every four years. But it's even elevated here. Uh, I was watching the crowd come in, and it's people you, you typically don't see at, at anybody's rally, uh, only in presidential politics, whether that's for Donald Trump or George Bush or Barack Obama. It's just presidential politics. It's historic. It's exciting. It brings out people that you don't normally uh, see getting involved. Speaking of George Bush, uh, Trump has not completely unified the Republican Party yet. The Bush family, you're... T you have close ties. You worked for both Bushes. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, will Trump eventually bring the Bushes and the Romneys of the Republican Party around? It's a work in progress. You've seen uh, John McCain, who initially you know, was hesitant to uh, come on board. You're seeing more members of Congress and U.S. senators come on board. So it's a process. You know, we, he just wrapped up uh, the nomination to being the presumptive nominee. Uh, um, and so as time goes on, we get closer to the convention, I have every confidence that everybody will be on board. How formidable is Hillary Clinton as an opponent? I think she's a very flawed candidate. Um, she is yesterday's uh, news. Uh, you know, the Clinton administration was years and years ago, um, and, and she has uh, very high negatives. And so I, I don't, I'm not, you know, uh, intimidated or put off by uh, uh, Hillary Clinton's chances uh, myself at all. I think tr Donald Trump, uh, he was seen that in recent polls this week, uh, nationally, Donald Trump being ahead of Hillary Clinton, because uh, her negatives are just so high, and, and somebody that well-known uh, in the public uh, just can't, can't reverse that. Does Trump have enough knowledge about public policy, about politics, about the world, to be the commander-in-chief? I believe so. I think Donald Trump is a guy who uh, knows what he doesn't know. Uh, he's been very successful in business. He's watched his country uh, get into trouble and lack of leadership around the world. So I think he'll bring people like Governor Christie and others uh, into his uh, into his fold to uh, to help him with all that. So I have every confidence that as we mo move, move along through this process, people get more and more confident and comfortable with Donald Trump. If he's successful, is there a role for Chris Christie in a Trump administration? Uh, you'd have to ask Donald Trump and uh, Chris Christie that question, Michael. How about for Bill Palatucci? I'm a Jersey guy, Michael, so I'm, I'm real comfortable right here. Bill Palatucci, thanks very much. Thanks, Michael. I'd say the size of this crowd now is up to about 500. This is not like other Trump rallies because these people had to pay to get in, $200 to go to the Chris Christie campaign debt. There are also a couple of hundred protesters outside, and we'll have a full report on what gets said here on the Friday night newscast. Mary Alice, back to you. Thank you, Michael.